So Fate of the World is a game that focuses on global warming and saving planet Earth. You are the president and you must make decisions to try and keep the climate in check and other economic issues. Um, focusing on economic and environmental issues are, to me, pretty interesting when it comes to games. I wouldn't have imagined it to be a type of game many would want to play. Uh, when it comes to these issues, there are so many things you have to think about and you have to worry about and it can get extremely confusing. Um, however, when literally the fate of the world is in your hands and you have the chance to save the living race from the comfort of your living room, why wouldn't it be exciting and a fun game to play? So, um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not one for games that involve too many things to worry about, um, which is why this game wasn't especially enjoyable for me. Um, however, I can see how it can be for some. There are so many different elements to work with. You have the agents that you put in different regions. You have the cards that you can choose from. There are different crafts that you look at. Like there's so many different elements which makes it a very realistic game um, because you're looking at all of these things and because it is that type of game. So for those who are interested in all the different elements, I understand. For me, not so much fun. Um, failure has been a topic that has been brought up from game to game that we've talked about. And I would say in this game, there's still some reference to it. Uh, the game can be extremely difficult. Uh, as you go further and further, when you have more things that you have to worry about and more things where you can lose. Um, and so it can take several times to try to beat it. But at the end of the day, I think it's pretty rewarding once you've solved the problem because of the fact that you just saved the world. Like it should be rewarding and it should be fun. So I think that this game does does have some type of factor when it comes to failure. Um, though games about race and gender and sexuality are serious in their own way, a game about the world and climate change and global warming and things that affect all people can be too real, which is why I did not enjoy too much because it was a little too real for me. Um, games like this can really show you how hard it is to keep everyone happy. I feel like in the past, political issues such as healthcare, many individuals would get upset because of the outcomes, um, and probably because, you know, it negatively impacted them, um, due to higher taxes or whatever the issue may be, but... It could also be a win for a vast majority. Um, but in this game, you can see how those decisions affect people, which I thought was pretty interesting. You can see how happy it makes people and how sad it makes people. And you can choose depending on those. However... As the game gets harder, you have to make those decisions of whether or not to make people happy because of something that you have to do anyway to not end up getting one of those lose situations. Um, I think this game gives a good message about the world and the decision making process and choosing what needs to be done and how to keep everyone happy. Uh, not all decisions made that need to be made can keep everyone happy. And I'm glad this game kind of teaches people that and lets you know exactly what's going on. 
um, mm, cultural and environmental games are pretty interesting because games are usually set away from the real world. Um, games like Skyrim, I guess, and Mario or Braid or even any other realistic game where you are an actual person and not some cartoon character, it takes you away from the real, from the real world and it allows you to explore a new world and you can change things about that world. In Braid, you were able to change time. Um, in Skyrim, you are... I don't know, some soldier or something. Like, you can change these things. However, in Fate of the World, um, it kind of blurs the boundary between the real world and a game. And this game is so realistic that you believe you could actually save the world and with the specific decisions you choose. So I thought that cult like cultural and environmental games are different in that way that they blur that line um between playing this fun game that you know you can do a vast majority of things and if you die you it's okay because you've got nine lives but in this game if you do not succeed you've just killed the world and i f i find it interesting that that's how well that is how cultural games work, and I think it's a a pretty interesting concept and question that is answered.